music gets me high. You know, other people say that, but like I think this really gets me high. I, right. It puts me in another place. Music is it has intoxicating effects on me. Assalamu alaikum, guys, and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Yesterday we heard the tragic passing away of rapper Juice World. He passed away in Chicago airport because of a seizure. In his soul, dark and light fight for the control. Now this rapper in particular was known for his natural ability to freestyle. In fact, there was a video of his that he was freestyling for an hour. Like when you did that hour long freestyle, I mean, a lot of people who are like rap traditionalists yeah. probably looked at that and were like, all right, this kid's official. What's even more tragic is six days before his passing, he was celebrating his 21st birthday. Despite getting famous off SoundCloud last year, just last year, he was signed by the famous Interscope Records. And after that, he produced hit after hit. In fact, he had two big, massive platinum selling hits. In other words, his career was just getting started. To such a degree that in pretty much every interview that I saw, there was some sort of question to do with What do you want to do? And, and I know it sounds like a grown ass man question, but what do you think next year will look like in two years, in five years? In 10 years, I want to wake up in London, right? And then go back to like LA the same day and then pull off in like a McLaren. <laughs> and then go home and ride dirt bikes and then wake up and then go back to London. It just goes to show. Neither did these people know or neither did Juice himself know that his time was coming to a sad conclusion. You know, Rakim was 19, yeah. Ice yeah. Cube, anybody that you put in there. And now we put them on legendary pedestals, five mics. Yeah. And at this moment, you're on your way to becoming that next person. Yeah. This guy was very mature for his age. Oh, I broke my phone the other day and it was the happiest day of my mm -hmm. life. I don't really value that stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, man. That's really good. It's, I don't really mean too much. Money don't even mean, I like, I like, I, obviously I like money, but right. I don't really care about it. Like To shun the material aspects is no easy matter, especially when your signing bonus with Interscope was three million. I hate clubs. I hate parties. Some of the points that he was mentioning was incredibly wise. I think that's what life is about. Truly finding yourself and then closing your eyes and dying in your sleep. Another thing that stood out to me was his devotion and his respect for his mother. My favorite memory with my mom happened recently, actually. Oh, okay. Well, you're growing up still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we're all growing up, so. My favorite memory, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> truthfully, but yes. um, my favorite memory is probably when um, I bought her a car. Nice. Just to see her facial expression. I mean, this guy is truly dedicated to his craft. I've been recording a lot nonstop. I don't like to party. I don't like to really go to clubs and shit. Like, I like to perform. That's like my party. But besides that, I'm in the studio or sleep. So. Of course, just like anybody else that's come from a rocky past, he's also had a rocky past. You always had issues with drugs even before you started to get famous and uh, rich. Yeah, 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 for sure. And I would say he is definitely talented for his age. I mean, Eminem is like a crazy writer. He's got notebooks on notebooks of just bars. He and you're the opposite. Too. You he never write, right? Never. Never. Yeah, look at his you know, one hour freestyle. Let's put that to the side for now. The fact that one of his hit records, Lucid Dreaming, let's face it, many of the viewers watching, you guys got no clue what Lucid Dreaming is. This guy was like 20 when he was talking about Lucid Dreaming. Let's hear from him. How long did it take you to write that, mate? I wrote that song in like 20 minutes. I mean, I could go on the respect that he has for even the OGs in this field. You know, you're 19 years of age. Yeah. We, we're starting to see a pattern of people not paying homage or not right. even recognizing some of these uh -huh. some of these people, man. But for you to bring up Nas, that lets me know what kind of cloth you're cut from. A part of the reason why I kept Juice in my name wasn't only for Tupac. It was for three rappers, actually. Tupac, uh, Soldier Boy had an old tape called the Juice Mixtape and then the MC Juice. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, death does not look at your age. It doesn't look at the fact that you're waiting at an airport to go somewhere. It doesn't care, mate. Death doesn't care if you just recently signed a brilliant and lucrative record deal and you are just on your rise. Death doesn't care if you've recently given up drugs and you've gone clean and you're helping the youth and the youngsters. If it's your time to go, it's your time to go. Ironically, he released a track in, in which he was paying tribute to two other artists that died young. Death is a reminder for us guys not to be sad and depressed, but it's a motivator for us to live. The greatest, like Michael Jackson dies. And, and then the like 24 goes. hours we give love and like maybe you get a week if you're an all time legend. All time, nobody's talking about John McCain today. Nobody's talking about David Bowie today. Nobody's talking about Prince today. It's amazing because then all of a sudden once you realize that nobody gives a f it's liberating. Because what that really gets you to is two cents. If nobody's gonna give a fuck when you die, yeah. why the f are you worrying about their opinions while you're alive? Everybody dies, guys, but not everybody lives. Realize, you know what? I don't know if I have tomorrow. So if I need to apologize to somebody, I'll apologize to somebody. If I need to do something, there is no tomorrow for me, I will do it today. If I don't have a certain relationship with my parents, I'll fix it today. You know, if you're in a job that you're not happy with, start another job, quit this job, start the pursuit. The important thing guys is leaving a legacy. Yeah, Allah has given us a life. Let's leave a legacy. Stop pursuing these, you know, unlimited pursuits. Money unlimited, women unlimited, cars unlimited, desires unlimited. Guys, come on, these things never end. I mean, you and I have been down this road. What is it gonna take for us to realize, you know what? I need to leave something behind. I don't wanna die and no one cares. I mean, I don't know about you, but sometimes when something happens, we look out the window hoping life will stop because we're going through something. Guys, no one cares. The planet keeps on spinning. People keep going to their jobs. Traffic doesn't stop. And that's the reality. When you're alive, you have a name. When you die, guys, when you pray a janazah at the mosque, you're not interested in the name. You just want to pray and go. He's a dead body to you in a graveyard. Nobody cares. You got drunkards, you know, leaning against the headstones and you just gangs hanging around, whatever. I mean, the dead have no value. That's the reality. You are of value when you are alive make value of your existence. I'm just sitting on the bus and I just imagine what happens if I drop dead right now and I turn it into a reality. Sitting on the bus, what would happen? Somebody behind me would be like, yo, are you okay? Naturally, they'd call 999. They let the bus driver know. They'll probably evacuate the passengers, call the ambulance, check the CCTV. I mean, look for ID, call my parents. Guys, you have to actualize this. Yeah, actualize it. Just imagine if it was had to happen right now. And that's gonna drive you. That's gonna make you realize because guys, we're stuck in routine. We're stuck in a routine. And routines can be dangerous because we think that we're alive and the routines are gonna continue forever. Continue to do the work that you're doing, man, and, and continue to honor your moms and it seemed like you're extremely humble bro and uh -huh. and you could tell by the way you carry yourself it's an upbringing mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so hopefully man we'll see you in the neighborhood again for sure, for sure, wishing for you sure. nothing but the best mm -hmm. thank Love, you for getting bro. up man back at you thank for you for sure. getting up and coming yeah, in and hanging out yeah. with us until next time guys assalamualaikum